Last year, the committee passed the much needed Peace Corps Reauthorization Act, and it was passed with strong bipartisan support. The Peace Corps and its volunteers have played an important role in promoting, understanding, and sharing American values in developing countries for over 60 years. And volunteer safety is a top priority, and I appreciate the work that the Peace Corps does. I really urge you to support and help pass the Peace Corps Reauthorization Act. I truly believe in the mission of the Peace Corps and the process and the experience that it gives people. The things that are included in the Peace Corps Reauthorization Act, how is the Peace Corps funded, what kind of benefits are afforded to people with the Peace Corps, how are people who serve in the Peace Corps treated with dignity and respect after service. This landmark legislation extends the critically important Sexual Assault Advisory Council, increases workers' compensation and health care coverage for volunteers, and expedites return to service opportunities for those impacted by COVID-19 and future comparable emergencies. In total, this bill strengthens the protection of volunteers against reprisals or retaliation for reporting wrongdoing within the agency. This bill is an important step towards exercising our oversight responsibilities and driving reforms that will protect the Peace Corps volunteers that we all represent. We have a growing list of bipartisan co-sponsors on the Peace Corps Reauthorization Act. We're so close to the finish line. This is why what we do right now matters. I hope that each of you listening today will join us to harness the goodwill that exists for renewing and revitalizing the Peace Corps, as the pending Peace Corps Reauthorization Act will do. So please take action now. Sign up to join MPCA's advocacy efforts and help us to pass this bill. Doing so will make a better Peace Corps for all who come next. Thank you, National Peace Corps Association. And thanks to each of you in helping us to pass the Peace Corps Reauthorization Act this year.